video and it's a little bit later than I wanted to post this video but I'm doing a video on the Mac Archie's Girls collection and it's going to be a giveaway. So I just want to say that I have not been following up with Mac collections for the past like two years. I completely fell off. Um, I found that when I was first starting as a blogger I was really obsessed with Mac, bought all the limited edition collections and I just thought I was the greatest and everything and then I just kind of as I started to become more into makeup, I learned about other brands and found myself not needing to spend like a whole bunch of money every single month whenever there was a new MAC release. But I will say that this Archie's Girls collection, which recently released at MAC, um, it kind of caught my eye um, for when I got an invitation to go to the um, my local store's um, pre-release party. So that kind of sparked my interest a little bit and now that I'm done with school I have more time to kind of go to those kind of events so I um the, what I actually did was when Mac released this collection they did it um like a, ahead of the store release online like they usually do usually they'll open it up online like a week beforehand but the thing they did this time is they actually opened it up to pros two days before they would open up to the public. So they opened it up Tuesday morning and I picked up just a few things. Um, I didn't go crazy. And then I placed an order um, with Mac Pro online. And I, I was figuring that I would get the collection like ASAP because I ordered it that Tuesday morning. So by then I was like, it's kind of old news, but I'll show it to you anyways because I'm doing this giveaway. So I didn't get, I did not get a whole bunch, like I said, because I wasn't really impressed with the eyeshadow palettes. Um, and I got more lip colors and then one of these um, pearl matte face powders. So I'm just going to swatch everything for you guys and show you what it looks like on my skin tone. So the first one is the MAC Archie Girls Pearl Matte Face Powder and Flatter Me. They had another one, but this one was a more kind of warm toned one, which I thought would look better on my skin tone. So I already swatched it. As you can see, it has a pale, like um, kind of satin shimmer, and then a uh, more of a corally pink, and it's got the really cute um, heart design, kind of like the Physician's Formula Mood Booster Blushes and Bronzers, which I do have. So I'm just gonna swatch this for you real quick. I'm gonna take so don't lace tulip contour and I'm actually just going to get all of the different colors swirl it around like so that's what it looks like and then I'm gonna, I already have max harmony blush on but this is more of a brown kind of contouring blush so I'm going to put it on top so when I put it on top it's very subtle it does have a pinky tone to it not high shimmer so it's kind of a subtle color but you do see it which is good because some of their other um, beauty powders don't show up at all on me so this is what it looks like you can definitely build it up if you'd like nice easy easy to wear I would definitely wear this on top of another blush for my skin tone maybe you can get away with it as a regular blush if you're more on the fair side but that's it the the collection is very very cute packaging I will give them that so this is the box and it's, this is it, the compact. It does not have a sticker, which is good. It's, it's, it's kind of imprinted on there, which I really like. And yeah, the, um, the release party was fun because they had um, like little um, Archies, like an actual Archie guy with, they made him up and they filled in his eyebrows red and he had freckles, passed around like little hot dogs and um, we got to take pictures of Archie, so it was really cute. So I got two of those because one of them I ordered, um, actually no, I got an extra. I got two of these at the store, so this one will be for the giveaway. I'm going to set that off to the side so we can talk about it at the end. They also gave us um, at the um, party these little Mac Archie's pins, which are really cute. This, who knows, maybe this will be a collector's item. I have a couple of them because they actually gave them at the pre-release. They shipped one to me in my original order without the collection, and then they shipped another pin to me um, when with the collection. So you got this little pin, which all the MAC artists were wearing at the party. 
And then at the party, they also gave this really cute Archie's Girl tin, and it's a, like a heart-shaped tin, and it has little, those like cinnamon hot candies in here, which are really yummy. I was like trying not to eat them so I could show them to you guys. Besides that, I pretty much picked up just lip colors. Um, I got the ones which I thought were a little bit different. Okay, let's see. So, I have two of Daddy's Little Girl lipstick. And I swatched one already, so, and I have an extra which I'm going to give away. So, this is, okay, this is the one I already swatched. So, this is the box. Matches the rest of it. This is, these are the giveaway items. So, here's the lipstick. The lipstick, of course, um, this is super cute container, white not a sticker. Um, everything I got was pretty much from the Veronica collection because they had the Betty collection, the Veronica collection, but the Veronica stuff was a little bit more bolder and brighter, um, which is more me as opposed to the more neutral kind of paler tones of the Betty collection. So this was a, um, I thought was a fun lip color. It's a kind of like a purpley pink, um, and it is a, I'm not sure what the finish, oh, satin finish. So I'm going to swatch it on my lips for you. So I think it's a nice fun lip color. I did notice that it's not the most moisturizing. It does kind of stay on the lines. So I would definitely recommend to wear a balm underneath. I think that this would be really, really pretty with like a magenta lip liner or even like Beano to kind of darken it up and kind of contour it. But I thought it was a little bit of a different shade and I think it's pretty um, and fun. I've heard kind of mixed reviews on this collection, but I think it's a fun lip color. It's not really something I have in my collection. Not in every day. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but I think I'll definitely wear this like little wing liner out, out at night with the girls or something like that. So I have that to give away to you guys. So I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to, the rest of the products I got are three lip glosses. So I'm going to swatch those for you guys. So let me put that off to the side. So the first one is called Kiss and Don't Tell. Now I definitely did a lot of research, like I said, online, picking um, colors I don't think I really have in my collection. This one is more of a bright pinky coral, which I thought would be great for the spring. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. Here's what the packaging looks like. Actually, I lied, this is from the Betty collection. So I did get something from her collection. So, cute packaging. I like the white with the cartoon kind of characters. So I'm using my Sedona Lace Vortex Lip Brush. And I'm applying this gloss. And as you can see, it's pretty bright and pigmented. I haven't walked really MAC lip glosses in a while, and they are very sticky. <laughs> so that's what this looks like. It's definitely pigmented enough to wear it on its own. I think this would be nice actually for like a wedding. I don't know why that kind of pops in my head, like a nice bright pink lip. And yeah, that's what it looks like. So nothing that special about it, but it's it's nice color. So I'll take that off. And I will have swatches and all that jazz on my blog at makeupbyrenrun.com. And let's move on to the next one. This one is called Stay Sweet. And this one's a very pale, pale lavender pink color. I've been trying to rock more lilac, lavender lips. Some of you guys have said I have ashy looking lips when I wore it in my Mardi Gras video, but I'm trying new things. So I don't have a gloss this color at all in my collection, so I thought that'd be fun to try out. So this is what it looks like on my hand. Definitely like a pale pink. I feel like, I'm not sure if this will look good on the lips, but I feel like it will look good layered on top of an, another lipstick. To, or with a lip liner to kind of give it some warmth. So I'm going to swatch this on my lips. Same lip brush. And actually it's a very pigmented. The good thing about glosses though is because the since they're a little bit um, of a sheer finish, not like a lipstick, your lip color can show through. So this doesn't look super duper ashy on me. Got blended in really good though because it's very sticky. This one kind of applies a little bit unevenly, <laughs> FYI, so make sure to blend it. Next, I think that's a pretty color. 
I would have to be really careful. Maybe I would probably put a little lipstick underneath because it seems like it's a little bit uneven on me. I can make that work. I think it's pretty. It's different than something I own. So that's that color. If you do have um, a, a lilac kind of gloss already, maybe skip on this one though because it does have issues with applying unevenly. So the last one I have is called Mall Madness. Now let me tell you a funny story. I was actually wearing on my lips a Maybelline lip gloss and I totally like didn't wear a MAC product. Knew, knowing that someone might ask me about my lip color but I was a rebel and they thought I was wearing this color but I wasn't. I was wearing a Maybelline color. So that goes to show you. You can get away with um, drugstore products. So this is what this color looks like. I love like these purpley pink colors. I think they're kind of fun and different. This is from the Veronica collection as well. So I'm going to swatch this for you guys. This would look actually really pretty on top of the lipstick. I think they kind of go together. See? These two. And if you want, I can actually do... Let me go ahead and do it on top of the lipstick and on its own so you can see. I will say though, this lip color does not make your teeth look white. FYI. Here it is on the top, just by itself. This applies a lot better than the other one. Okay. So it's a lot more subtle on. Very, very wearable, actually. Can you see that? Let's put it on top of the gloss show that to you guys. I mean on top of the blood stick. Definitely more of a pop of color. I think that's actually very pretty. Makes the lipstick more comfortable to wear because it kind of gives it a little more of a moisture. So here's everything mixed in. So that's that. Yeah, I definitely like the lip gloss and lipstick together um, as opposed to the lip um, stick on its own. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, so thumbs up on that one. So that's the collection. I don't really think anything's a must have. It's more like if you feel like you want to get the super cute packaging and maybe get lip colors that um, aren't in your collection. Like I said, I didn't get any of the pigments. I never get pigments or nail colors just because I don't want to... I don't use that and I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Eyeshadows I wasn't really into. Um, the blushes actually looked pretty but I didn't need any new blushes. So this is the last one. So it's time for a giveaway. I don't ever really do giveaways on MAC stuff so this is a special occasion. So um, one likely winner will get the Pro Matte Face Powder and then the Daddy's Little Girl. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I have a new Instagram page, um, and my name on there is Makeup by Ren Ren. I'm trying to get more exposure on it because I'm kind of new on there. I don't have a lot of people following me. So, in order to win the Pro Matte Face Powder and the Daddy's Little Girl Lipstick, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. I'll have the link below. And then I will choose one of you guys at random to win. And make sure that uh, you follow me and leave a comment on the picture for the giveaway so that way I know to look and see where you are and it's open internationally I'll ship it to you wherever in the world you are so follow me on Instagram and leave a comment on my giveaway for I'll take a picture of this and I'll say if you want to win leave a comment so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed my quick Mar um, Mac Archie's Girls collection review demo giveaway all the details for the giveaway and stuff and the um, swatches of pictures will be on makeupbyrenren.com as usual so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time have a great night. Ciao bellas.